Uh, welcome to the beginning of the 100th General Assembly. Obviously, we're very excited to get this session started. Um, behind me are 115 colleagues, uh, one of the largest Republican majorities we've ever had. Uh, we don't have a, a, a ton of stuff today because this is really just a celebration of the family and friends. We wanted the opportunity to take any questions you all have from us. Can you alluded to this. You know, we, I did say in the speech that one of the goal, one of our goals will always be that every child, no matter their, or every child, no matter who's in care, will have an opportunity for a world-class education. Um, we don't know exactly how that looks at this point, but obviously we're going to do a lot in the education space this year. I think if you look at how successful we were last year, and utility reform, tax reform, and variety of other areas, education is an area that I think we will probably spend a lot of time on this year. Some of your colleagues have filed legislation to set up a basically a county opt-in right to work style law this is right after voters rejected a statewide law in august is this something you are going to pursue this year you know it's something we'll look at one of the benefits of being a leader of a caucus this large is diversity of ideas uh, obviously our caucus doesn't have a lot of uh, enthusiasm to, to take another run of statewide level we'll have conversations about what counties want to do why well, did you mention in your speech uh, you referred to a broken criminal justice system what do you think is broken and how should it be fixed well, I think uh, if you look at both in the state and nationally, we've got a lot of people that are in jail, especially on nonviolent offenses. These are on the road back to working. It's it's better for our economy. It's less burdensome for our prisons. Mr. Speaker, last year you had a bill, transportation bill, was part of a tax bill that indexed user fees and the cost of inflation. It had bipartisan support. Didn't go anywhere in the Senate, ran out of time. Rick, you looking at doing that again next year? What is your thoughts on what are your thoughts on transportation? You know, it's hard to say. One of the reasons we did that is I thought um, it could be larger, of a, uh, part of a larger tax package. Um, obviously, we scaled that down to just an income tax cut, um, and I don't know if that portion of it has has the support in, in either the House or the Senate to pass. So it's, well, it's a conversation we'll continue to have. Obviously, our goal as a caucus is to, to build a stronger transportation system in the state of Missouri. Prescription drug monitoring uh, coming up once again. Governor Parson has said he wants this on his desk. What's the outlook for this year? I think the outlook's good. Representative Rader and, uh, has filed that bill multiple years in a row, and I think the House has passed it multiple years in a row. Um, we continue to believe that that's a good option, and we'll continue to work that direction. All right. Thanks, everybody.